Hey everybody, it's Monday morning and it's the last day of summer. So I hope you enjoy your last day of summer as we move into fall. Looks like the temperatures are starting to lower a little bit, but whatever the weather is, you enjoy your week this week. Have a great last day of summer. A few updates for you this week. I uh, wanna thank everybody giving to the matching funds for our Worship Center remodel, our 2020 vision. We were given a gift of $10,000. We have just a couple weeks left to match those funds. We'll give you an update on Thursday how we're doing, but make sure to make plans to give to our 2020 worship center remodel in the next couple weeks so we can hit that goal of ten thousand dollars october 31st we'll be doing trunk and treat be a little different this year it's a whole new world and uh, so we're going to be doing a drive through trunk and treat we're going to invite the community to bring the trunks we'll provide the treats and hope you're going to help us with that if you'd like to donate some candy or if you'd like to give to the bridge project uh, that will be the fund we use to help build those community relationships with our trunk and treat use some of the funds from there so if you'd like to participate uh, I encourage you to do so if you'd like to uh, pass out candy on the 31st be sure to contact the church office we'd love to have your help also as we've been mentioning to you we're updating our phone directory we may have a, a picture for you already but we'd like an updated picture if we don't have any picture at all we definitely want your picture be sure to take that picture mail it to the office at office at lpchurch.org and we'll update all your information we want to stay connected with one another and the phone directory gives us a face with the name and so we hope you'll participate with us uh, the pandemic survival kits are on their way out we have still more to deliver so if you haven't received yours you can be looking for that this week and in the next week if you have a neighbor or friend that you want to encourage or build a relationship with that you think a pandemic survival kit might encourage them let us know we'll get you an extra one you can deliver it yourself from life point let them know that we're thinking about them and maybe they can find a way to get connected with us as well the big announcement, though, is this Saturday night, September 26, 7 p.m. at church. We're going to be kicking off our worship prayer night, kicking off our 40 days of prayer together, and hope that you're going to join us. If you can't come be with us in person, live, uh, it'll be online as well. And it's an event for the whole church. Uh, lots of people around the nation are going to be celebrating on the 26th in terms of connecting with God, praying for our nation, upcoming elections, and the ministry of the church. And so we want all of God's people at life point to be involved so be with us in person or online find a way to get connected and commit yourself to pray for the next 40 days uh, as the body of Christ for our country for our elections all that's happening uh, in our world today that's uh, this Saturday September 26 7 p.m. and lastly as we finish out this Monday together I want to encourage you to be praying for all of our people in need have lots of people that are battling cancer having surgeries having uh, recovery times and healing and all kinds of physical needs and spiritual needs that are going on so I want you to be praying for one another just want to again mention Debbie Harris who is uh, adapting to that new heart she had her heart surgery and there's some struggles and challenges I want you to be praying for her uh, Pat Watson who was having a heart valve replacement uh, had a couple strokes and so she needs our prayers and of course there's a whole list of our uh, people at LifePoint that need our prayers so don't want to leave anybody out, but be sure to check your list. And if you're on the prayer team, check the list. Let's be praying for one another uh, in these difficult days. God bless you guys. I hope it's a great week for you. Enjoy your last day of summer. And we'll look forward to talking to you in fall uh, this Thursday. God bless you guys.